Hi, I'm Sheriff Kevin Rambosk, and I want to welcome you to On Scene. In this episode, we'll meet the members from the Naples Jail Center. We will also provide you with crime prevention tips and other information about your Sheriff's Office. Hello, I'm Captain Joe Bastis with the Curry County Sheriff's Office. I've been serving the Sheriff's Office for 28 years. I'm the captain of the Naples Jail Facility and the Bailiff Bureau. Presently, we have 869 inmates. Our facility is rated for 1,144 beds. Hello, I'm Kevin McGowan. I'm the commander of the security program here at the Naples Jail. Today, we're going to take a little tour through the jail, stopping off at some interesting spots, such as our booking intake, a maximum security block, a minimum security block. We'll visit our classification section and a few other interesting spots along the way. This is the uh, Naples booking room. We have uh, several things going on at the same time. We have booking of the inmates. We have their property being taken and inventoried. We have people being released to the same facility. And then we also have our ICE investigations going on as uh, the inmates are processed. Sergeant DeLashman uh, at the Naples Jail Center. Uh, I've been working here about seven years. Uh, work booking, it's, uh, it's a great part of my life. I enjoy it a lot. My name is Cooper Matthew Davis. I'm with the Naples Jail Center and I'm currently working with the Criminal Alien Task Force. This is the uh, property intake of the uh, booking area. Every inmate that comes in will have all of their property taken here and um, inventory. Also, at this particular point, they will go through what we call a two fingerprint system. And those people who have been previously detained by Collier County are in this system and it'll identify them. This is our laundry. We, it runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We change out laundry uh, quite often uh, to maintain the health of our facility and the others of the inmate. Hello, I'm Corporal Linda Devaney. I work for the Collier County Sheriff's Office. I've worked for them for 10 and a half years. Right now, I work at the Naples Jail Center as their kitchen officer. I'm in charge of 10 to 20 inmate workers that work in the kitchen performing several different tasks throughout the day. Right now, we are preparing food for 900 inmates. This is a maximum security housing area. There are several housing areas in the facility just like this one. This one is not occupied at this time because it has been refurbished, new paint, a few other things. The most violent of offenders would be housed in a facility like this. Of the makeup of our population, which is about 900 inmates today, 10% of those would be classified as maximum security. The other 10% would be known as minimum security and everybody else ranges in the middle. This is our medical section. Uh, our medical section takes care of all of the inmates needs and we have all of the uh, normal things that you would find in your doctor's office and then a little bit more. This is one of our uh, recreation yards. There are four of them, two of them this size and two smaller ones. Every inmate in the facility gets three hours of outside exercise a week. I'm Sergeant Tamara Ellsworth. I'm the supervisor of classification section in Naples Jail Center, and I've been with the agency almost eight years now. Classification is a process where an inmate would come in and he would be set into a certain category, so where he is housed with like inmates. We don't want to put a misdemeanor offender in with a felony offender or a violent felony offender, so we do a classification. Here at the Naples Jail, we have three classifications of inmates, maximum security, medium security, and minimum security. Classification also handles other programs such as Alcoholics Anonymous, which we see about 180 inmates a month. We have our mail room, which processes 10,000 pieces of mail a month. We also take care of the GED program for the general population. We're about to enter our GED program. Uh, this is also known as Classroom 21B. 
Uh, this is part of the prisoner reentry project that is ongoing here at the Naples Jail. And we have a state-of-the-art classroom in this facility paid for by the uh, Board of Education specifically for the education of inmates. I'm Buddy Schulteis. I'm the facilitator of the GED education block here at the Collier County Jail. The purpose of our program is to provide an opportunity for the inmate students to further their education. The first step is to uh, achieve their GED diploma if they don't have a high school diploma yet. And after that we start working on career education, some uh, character education by using the seven habits of highly effective people from Stephen Covey. And we also do some typing programs and other type of uh, computer skills. We have them do a career profile on a uh, computer program which will help them decide on types of careers that match their personality. So the entire class is designed to help the inmates uh, move from incarceration to the time when they get released and start over fresh when they get out. This is our female section. We're not going inside today but females make up about 12% of our population. Again, it is a maximum security, medium security, and a minimum security facility. Behind me is the uh, Corrections Emergency Response Team. They're training right now. The Emergency Response Team comes in and takes an inmate out of a cell if we have to do an extraction. Many times there are inmates within our facility who are extremely violent. When these people act out, we, as normal deputies, will back off, we'll call in the CERT guys. They are trained and trained and trained to come in and skillfully subdue an inmate, take him to the ground, restrain him, all without having any difficulty with injury to the inmate or to themselves. Detective William Gifford. I'm with the Collier County Sheriff's Office Special Enforcement Canine. Today we're out at the Collier County Fairgrounds. The Sheriff's Office in conjunction with the Florida Law Enforcement Canine Association is hosting a drug interdiction conference for canine and canine handlers. Basically what we've what we're trying to uh, establish here is, is a training for uh, multi-agencies throughout the state of Florida. Actually did a very nice job. Bob Anderson, I'm a retired lieutenant from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Currently I have my own business, which is uh, International Canine College located in Palm Beach Gardens. 
I'm here as the uh, lead instructor for uh, FLICA, which is the Florida Canine Law Enforcement Association. And what we're trying to do is uh, pass on experience uh, as far as interdiction, training techniques, is trying to improve the dog's uh, overall search and, and, and the handler's skills. All the hides have been put out are very practical, they're very realistic. Uh, we're going over not only how to make the stop, how to communicate, what kind of questions to ask, what kind of indicators to look for, both indicators as far as uh, the conversation and indicators on the car as to what to look for. So every exercise actually have an, has an interdiction instructor as well as a canine instructor because uh, we're going over the, the stop from the entirety. The canine uh, instructors are, are to look at the team to try and uh, give them some critique, uh, good, bad, or indifferent on how to improve on their search pattern or their alert or their handling skills on how to deploy the dog in, in this situation. Uh, we have a vari wide variety of dogs here. We've got some dogs that are real nice and we have some dogs that just came out of school. And this is, uh, it's been an excellent seminar as far as the people, as far as getting the, uh, the knowledge and the information, as well as the experience of, of doing these type of realistic hides. Collier County Sheriff's Office has done an excellent job putting this on. We couldn't ask for uh, better conditions, uh, very professional. And again, probably the most important thing to us is, is the hides, the amount. Uh, it's all very realistic and everybody's getting a great deal of exposure and education. So it's been fantastic. We hope you've enjoyed our program and we look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you for being our partner for a safe community.